Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you five tips and tricks in Google Slides that will help you save time working on your presentations and make them look better. So let's get started. The first tip I want to share with you is using the skip slide feature in Google Slides. It's a very nice feature. Whenever you're presenting in the slideshow mode and you want to skip a slide, you don't want your students to see a specific slide. Let's say I want, I want to skip in this case slide number five, but at the same time, I don't want to delete it from my presentation. You just select the slide, right click on it and select skip slide. And as you can see, it will tell you that this slide will be skipped in slideshow mode. Let's see how it works. So I'm gonna go to slide number four. I'm gonna press on slideshow. And let's say you finished from this slide and you want to move to the next slide. As you can see here, it skipped slide number five and move directly to slide number six. In order to show back this slide, you just do the same steps. You right click on it and in this case, in this case you select unskip slide. The second tip or feature is the custom substitution feature. It will save you time working on your presentations and especially if there's information that you have to enter every single time on every presentation. How does it work? For example, if I want, if I don't want to type this sentence every single time while working on my presentation, I can just use something similar to an autofill feature. How can we do that? First of all, make sure that you have the text ready. I'm going to copy it. I'll just go to tools, preferences, and then substitutions. And here I'm going to use a shortcut text that while I enter on the slide, it's going to replace it with the text that I need. So for example, again, here, this is the text that I want to include. And since this is the objectives, for example, I can just write OBJ. And every time I write OBJ, Google Slides will autofill with this sentence. Let's try it together. So press OK. And now, let's say this is an empty text box. I just write OBJ and I hit the space bar and the text is autofilled immediately. Let's move now to the third tip or feature, which is one of the best features in Google Slides, adding music to your presentation or adding a background music. How can we do that? We are going to do it in two different ways. And it's very helpful because let's say you're displaying your presentation and you want your students to start working on a task. They can do that while the presentation is displayed on the board and also listening to a background music. Let's start with the first way. You just go to insert and you select audio here. Just select the music that you want or the file that you want and press on select. It's going to be added to your slides and you're going to see this icon here, which means that there's an audio. Let me make it bigger just to show it for you. You can even change the settings of this audio so you can control the volume, for example, if you want it to start playing on click or automatically and many features. And if you don't want to show it on your slides while you are in the slideshow mode, just make it smaller in size and move it to the bottom corner here. There's another way by using YouTube, but YouTube is for videos. It's fine. I can use the audio which is inside the video. Let me show you how. You go again to insert. And in this case, I'm going to select video. Just let's look for a music on YouTube. Let's say I'm looking for educational music. I'm going to select. This is a very good one, which is focus music for work and studying. Let's press select. And the video is also going to be added to my slides. But while I'm in the slideshow, I don't want students to see the video. I just want them to listen to the music. I'll make it smaller in size just the same way I did to the audio. And I'll just move it to the corner here. If you want, just make it even smaller in size and that's it. It's ready. You can still change the features also or the settings. So for example, I want it to play automatically. I want to start it. Let's say if the first five seconds, just there's no music, I'm going to start at five seconds and so on. Let's try it together. This is the slideshow. As you can see, you don't see it like it's there in the corner and the music is being played in the background. 
My fourth tip is using the word art feature. This is very useful whenever you want your presentations to look better or you want to create fancy titles. Let's see how to use word art. First of all, I'm going to replace, let's say, this text, which is classic with another text or title. So instead of using a text box here, I'm going to go to insert and select word art. Let's add our text here. And as you can see, another title, a different type of title is created here. And you can still do changes to this uh, text. So whenever you double click on it, you can change or edit the text here and you can change the color this is very useful also whenever you create you want to create outline text so for example let's say i want the fill color to be white and i want to add borders to my text so let's say i'm gonna choose the red color let's make it a little bit thicker so that we can see it you can even change the font and as you can see, I created a different type of text here. So I changed this classic text into this one. The fifth and last tip is changing the size of shapes on Google Slides using the Shift key. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. For example, I have a certain shape here. It's a square. And I want to change the size of this square. I want to make it bigger or smaller. In order to do that, you can just drag any of these points. So for example, you can change the length and the width here. Or you can change both the length and the width using the corner. So I, I'm changing both the length and the width at the same time. But sometimes when I'm changing the length and the width, it's very hard to maintain the same aspect ratio. So the shape itself might change. So for example, it can change to a rectangle and not a square anymore. How can I do that and maintain the same aspect ratio? It's very easy. Just hold the shift key and then drag the corner. As you can see, even if you move this corner or the mouse, it's changing the length and the width by the same aspect ratio. So in this case, I'm changing the size, but not the shape itself. And this works on all shapes. So for example, let me add a circle. I have this circle and I want to change its size, keeping the same aspect ratio. So I want it to be a circle also. So I'll just hold the shift key. And I'll drag the corner. As you can see, it's changing by the same aspect ratio. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos.